Don't let your AC system get knocked down by the heat this upcoming summer. Call KS Services and let our team come take a look. We repair and install all makes and models. We even offer a free no-hassle quote and second opinion, so give us a call today. With our flexible financing, you can literally pick your payment. We may even be able to help you knock down that utility bill a bit. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort. It's the Weather Extreme video. This is for Thursday, March 22nd. I'm James Spann. Alabama stays dry today and tomorrow. Maybe a few showers this weekend, nothing too heavy. Let's go in there and check it out early this morning. Got a deep upper low on the middle Atlantic coast. And again, troughing over the eastern states. That's helping to pull down this colder air. We felt that yesterday, and we're feeling it this morning. Now, these are at 4 a.m., pretty early this morning. At that point, we're seeing upper 20s for Haleyville and Gadsden, mid-30s for Birmingham, Anniston, Tuscaloosa, but by daybreak, many of those cities will drop to the freezing mark. Around the nation, very cold for the eastern third of the country, but temperatures will moderate in coming days. Still got a freeze warning this morning for parts of North Alabama and Tennessee. Up north, winter storm watches for parts of the upper Midwest and the high plains. And out west, winter storm warnings continue for the Sierra Nevada, uh, Nevada Mountains of California. This is the precipitation for the next seven days. Again, a lot of rain for California. Big bullseye over Arkansas, east Oklahoma and northeastern Texas, and a big gradient here. Uh, muscle shoals with one inch, nothing for the Gulf Coast. That's good news for the spring breakers. The weather looks fine for Gulf Shores. Destin, Panama City Beach for the next seven days. Model fans, let's take a look. This is the GFS. This is the OZ run, valid today at 1 o'clock, troughing on the East Coast, troughing off the West Coast, ridging in between. And will be a sunny and cool day today, the high and the low 60s. That's still below average, but not as cool as yesterday. Tomorrow, we stay dry. We'll call it partly sunny. Now, some of the colder pockets might see freezing early in the day. Most spots mid to upper 30s. The high will be in the upper 60s. And Saturday, a little compact system will be passing north of the state. And that could bring a few rain showers in here by Saturday afternoon or Saturday night. This is Saturday night at midnight. There's not much moisture, so rain amounts will be fairly light. And a surface boundary will stall out somewhere around here Sunday. And where that stalls out will determine who gets the showers. And uh, we'll certainly mention a chance of showers on Sunday. And the weekend should be mild, highs in the 70s. So no washout, but uh, looks like the better chance of showers at this point might be for central Alabama Saturday night and Sunday. We'll go to Monday. It looks fairly wet with a wedge front coming in from the east. Uh, it's cold air sitting over New England. And again, Monday will be uh, cool because of the wedge with highs uh, will be in the 50s all day with uh, rain at times. But Tuesday, a ridge begins to strengthen. We'll be back in the 60s with only a small chance of a shower. And Wednesday, we could be close to 80 as the ridge begins to uh, strengthen uh, with rain to the west. And a week from today, this is Thursday the 29th, got to watch that deep trough over Texas. Surface low begins to form off to the west. This is Thursday night. That surface low is just north and west of here, that might be a setup for strong, maybe severe storms out there toward the end of next week. And then this is Friday the 30th. The surface low pulls away, lifting onto the northeast. And Saturday the 31st, up a trough north and east, and we're back in dry air. Check the numbers. Temperatures, I'd say, seasonal. Note that cooler day Monday with uh, the high of only 54 because of the wedge. But again, other than that, temperatures... Pretty close to where they should be for this time of the year. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this morning. We'll have notes in the blog. I'll be traveling today, so just one video back to the two-a-days tomorrow. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a great day, and God bless. Summer's just around the corner, and KS Services wants to be the team ensuring your comfort. We repair and install all makes and models, so give us a call today to get a free, no-hassle second opinion. KS Heating and Air, the team ensuring your comfort.